Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am finishing up. This is the last paper pumpkin alternative. Yes! <clears throat> For June 2024's kit called Life is Sweet. And um, I'm getting a kind of a late start in the day today because I had household chores that needed to be tended to. And I found a, that darn Siamese cat. I know it's feral, but he knocked over my bird feeder and then was promptly laying in the bushes under where my little, you know, birds eat, <clears throat> awaiting for a little birdie to come in. And I just couldn't have to have that. So I have to had to scare him off this morning and then I have to figure out where I can put my new bird feeder in. Oh, kind of distressed me a little bit. My poor little birds. I know the cat. So I told my husband, I said, you're going to have to catch him. I said, we're going to have to take him to the feral cat home, which there is. And that doesn't mean that he's going to be put to sleep. It's, there is up the road from me is a place where, um, for feral cats. They do, um, I can take them up there. They'll take them to the main society, make sure he or she is fixed and then put him back there. And that's the best I can do for him because I cannot, plus he's driving Boone nuts and <clears throat> poor Boone, when he sees him, you know, tries to get over there and Boone screamed out in pain the other day because he has two big scars healing two big cuts you know they did anyways little the little cat distressing me here this morning uh so i had to go anyways i had to go do some yard work too so housework yard work and now i'm in my happy place again so thank you all for joining me this is what the kit cards would have looked like had you have made them as they were designed and you guys know me hopefully by now if you are new and you don't know me I'm going to tell you, I do not do the cards as they were designed. Sometimes I am inspired by the cards, but I love to do my own thing, guys. I just love it. I love creating something different. Um, it, it's it's a creative... What's the word I want? <clears throat> a creative challenge. That's the word I usually use and I like to use. Um, it's a creative challenge each month to see what I can create with the kit. So this QR code right there will lead you to a video that will show you how to assemble the cards as they were designed. This one will lead you to the Thanks and Beyond dies, which that's them right there. And then our new ones. Yes, I moved them. Um, these new dies will coordinate with July, August, and September. Ta -da! That means this will have a stamped image that will match that to go with. This leaf is wonderful. You could do this in so many different colors and just layer them on a card and have it for fall. Really quick, easy little card. I might have to do that. I'd love to write myself a little note, but I think that's kind of ingrained in my brain right now. So this is a visual of everything in the kit and then the coordinating colors. Now videos one through five, of course, I show you everything that comes in the kit. After that, I, I don't do that no more. This is a look at our stamp set. So much to celebrate. Sending a big squeeze. Sweet friend, you're truly amazing. Life is so much sweeter with friends like you. Wish you were here and thanks. And today we will be using... I don't know what uh, stamp set this is to, so that has to stay out on my desk. Let's find this stamp. Sweet friend, even though this isn't going to a friend, this is going to go in my catalog for me. Let's just plop that on the other side. That's what we're going to be stamping. And I had a sentiment strip from the kit that was left over. You'll see what little bit of supplies I do have. There it is. There's my little sentiment strip. So I'll write this in the notes. Now, <clears throat> just so you are aware that in the description part of the video, if you click on that, all the measurements for what I do are there. If I make a correction, I put it in. I don't do the description part until after I make the video. So if I have a correction, I do it there. That's my note to make a hidden paper clip. So 
I'm going to show you how I got to that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my Aunt Carol gave me a bag of these die cut circles she did. So I'm going to put some to use. Thank you, Aunt Carol. <coughs> now, I will tell you, I have three vellum leaves and these little stars, which I am not using yet. I am going to uh, clip these on this of uh, my uh, desk here. So I might be using those for next video or something else. And then let's see what we have. So this is from the Everyday Detail Dies. This is in Calypso um, Coral. Now I have this because it was part of, you see my little accordion thing here. You see all the circles and whatnot that I had. Originally, I was going to use these from the Label Me Lovely that were pre-done. Mm -mm. I'm going to put those back in there. This vellum can go back in there. So, <clears throat> this is what we're going to be using. Two of these circles, and these circles are two-inch circles. I have five peaches, two large, three small. The Everyday Detail Dye Circle in Clips of Coral and the decorative circle punch yes that is retired and then i have a piece that is one and three quarters by three and <clears throat> five eighths it is simply folded in half i did not score it i just folded it and now we're going to take this three eighths of an inch circle punch and you see those little x's i made there we need to punch those out and it's easier if i open it up and do this there is a reason for this, and you'll see in just a second. It doesn't matter that they're not even. The reason being is when they go back here, I this would be too far up. And you see down here, it looks like these are going to need to be done as well. So I'm just going to take this. Oh, I don't want to do it that way, do I? No, because it might catch on something. So... Let's see if we use a corner rounder. I might just have to trim it down. Let's see. Oh, no, the corner rounder will do. So for the bottom four, because you have two on each side. And this is important when you're doing these hidden paper clips. If you leave it pointed like this sometimes when you're going to put it in your page this catches on things so when you have that rounded edge it, it just slides easier so i have a paper clip a small one this time because the large one is just too big i'm going to roughly put it in the circle this is the inside piece of what i am creating and now i'm going to use mr frog is coming in for the assist on here I need two pieces of tape. You can use tear tape. I've used masking tape. Um, my husband found that nice big green roll of masking tape and he promptly took it from me. I will find it again. Mm -hmm. He laughed at me. He's like, that is not yours. I said, oh, but it works so well. He's like, Alice. He's like, that is mine. And you know if he said Alice, because he usually calls me Allie. Um... Yeah, he wanted his tape back, but I'll get it again. And I think he knows I will, too. <laughs> oh, he didn't take it to the garage. I think he put it in his one of his uh, tool bags on the back porch. He's like, I was looking for that. I'm like, go buy some different stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> so that's all we're doing is taping it down so it does not move. Then we're going to set this aside for the moment. So I'm going to put one of these circles that my Aunt Carol punched on each of these. The one is front, one is back. It doesn't matter which. <coughs> I'm just doing this a little different. Oh, let's see. I tipped this upside down because I wanted to take it in and I forgot. Is anything... Oh, we're still getting glue out of this. That's awesome. It's going to start coming out of the tip now. It was upside down. Ooh, wrong side. This side. This side. Do I have a tissue? All right. There's one. Uh, 
All right, there's two. So one's front, one's back. Now, this one is gonna go like so. So now I'm gonna glue this down. I might just use tear tape for that. We might just go ahead and do tear tape. <clears throat> Let's just do it. It doesn't matter which side I do. I'm going to put tear tape. This I'm just being different, guys. And as this one doesn't have a fold over piece, I think tear tape, I could also put some liquid glue on there. <clears throat> but I think tear tape will handle it. This is going to go on my catalog. So rub it down, give it a little massage there. And then pull up the backing, and this should, both of them, one at a time, though. One side at a time, and it doesn't matter which one goes on which side. <clears throat> See, we haven't got anything on there, so it doesn't really matter. We're just plopping that in the center, like that. And remove the tape. Backing. When you give it a rub down, it helps this tape to release so much easier than if you didn't. <clears throat> so now, and guys, I just wanted to use up scraps. So now this one is going to go on the back. So I have two different looks. The front side and the back side. And I have a little glue there, so let's try to clean that up. Yes, it does not lay perfectly flat unless you want to put a whole bunch of dimensionals on there, but it's quite thick as it is. Now the question is where's the top and bottom? So see, this is where, there. Now we know where, what is what. So we have a large peach. On this side, I'm going to do three. On the other, I'm going to do, yes. So let's put these two together. One on top of the other. One there, if I could lift it up. I like that placement, I like that. <clears throat> then I will place this here on a dimensional, I think. I won't do the other side on a dimensional. <clears throat> that would just get too bulky. So that marks the front. There's our peaches. So this one. Oh, let's see. We are going to put you like that. So right there. I think I like it like that. And no dimensionals for this one. So this one's going to go on tear tape. <clears throat> Reason being is this is a shiny metallic surface and I'm not sure how well wet glue would handle it. So tear tape. And I'm not going to put any more there. It's, it's only going on to my uh, catalog. So that way's up. So I know this one needs to go this way. And then where's my little word, sweet friend? And I want peach pie. This is the most I've used these new ink colors since they came out. So we're going to do one here. I don't think we'll get two. Make it. 
not sure. I might have to separate sweet and friend. Oh, that will work. And this, do I want to put it at the front? I think so. So a little bit of tear tape. <clears throat> Got a little too much tear tape. Rub down. And release. And this little cutie is going to go on my catalog. Do I want to? Oh, I can do that. There we go. See? That's for me. I'm so happy with this kit, guys. I have enjoyed sharing with you all my creations. You guys have been wonderful. I know I used a lot of stickers in this one, a lot of stickers, um, but they were so quick and so easy and I couldn't resist and I love buying them. Buy one. Um, that way you use it up and you don't like hoard a whole bunch of them. So anyways... I will let you all go now, and now I'm going to stick this. You guys want to see? Let's see my catalog. Oh, you know what? I can put it on my paper pumpkin notebook. Where is that? Here we go. So there's my little owls. This one I made. So this one can go on here. Ta-da! There it is. It'll go in this notebook. Now right here I'll make the notes of what I used and put that in the description part of this video. Oh, maybe you guys can't see. Isn't that cute? Look. Oh, I love it. I do love them. I think they're great. They're fun. Um, they're creative and they are useful. At least for me they are. I am a physical type person. I know a lot of people are can do the electronic thing and the digital and and everything you guys give me a physical catalog give me a physical notebook to write down and I would take that a hundred times over anything else all this new technology it's just how I was brought up it's what I enjoy um, <clears throat> and, and it's that's me um, so thanks for watching everybody I hope you like my little paper clip front and back it works it's a circle cute so I'm going to come back and I'll be doing my paper pumpkin review and I'm surprised it's all over, but a new one's going to arrive anytime. Well, about the 18th of the, of the month, 18th to 20th around there, unless it gets lost, which sometimes they do. Um, but that leaves me time to play with other things. So thanks for watching everybody. And, um, I invite you to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.